All right, so I got the first round done. I'm starting on the second row. It's weird because the second row of the single crochet actually looks like a double crochet to me. But I didn't go through the full chain. I went through just the back loop. So I have this line in the middle there. I'm going to try one row where I go in the back loop for the line. And then I'm going to try another row where I go through both and see what it looks like. And see which one um, I'm really trying to get. What design I'm trying to get. Because this is still not even the the look I was trying to get. Um, for the animals I'm trying to do. They say you're supposed to double crochet. But then I find out it's UK double crochet. Which is technically a, a US single crochet. Which is so freaking confusing. Oh, you know. I'm just going to. Try it. Okay, so going through that back loop there. Okay, no, that would be uh, close no chain over. Just go straight in. It is so much easier to work on the second row than it was to work on that first one going into the base chain. Um, I think I missed some of this stuff up. I think I missed a chain here. Eat, skip, fluke, brain, what happened? No, it's just bigger, that's all. Am I on camera? I better be on camera. Because you gotta see what I'm doing. Back chain. Pull, pull, close. It's actually bigger. I just can't see. Back chain, pull, pull, close. Back chain, pull, pull, close. I think I want to do like a whole bunch of stitches in a row for this, just so I can see. Like, okay, I went from single, half double, double, triple, slip. So that I can be like, oh, okay, if I ever forget, or if I ever get mistaken, I know that's what it should look like. So, again, it's a project. I don't want to just do patches, because then I'll feel like I might as well watch TV. So, there we go. Yeah, I think I got it. Well, I don't know. I need your feedback first to let me know if I got it. So, again... Back chain, pull through, yarn over, pull to close, back chain, pull, yarn over, pull to close, just trying to get my yarn to unroll, which has been a pain in the ass, am I supposed to like unroll it and re-roll balls or something, I don't know, just with this not so great yarn it's like really difficult to work with it's <laughs> i feel like i'm repeating myself right i am it's just i don't really get to have my thoughts to myself with the kids because they take up all my brain capacity which is why i'm crocheting so that my brain can feel like it's doing something without needing to do anything it's good practice it's good meditation i like it it's fun it's a good way to focus my thoughts and not feel like i need to rush to do stuff and i feel like i need to be productive but it still gives me a sense of you know like being artistic I don't want to say productive. It's not productive. But where I can't pull out all my paints because the toddler might get into it. I can at least pull out a bunch of yarn. A bunch of colors. And, you know, if he wants to play with it, he plays with it. If not, I don't have to clean up. <laughs> okay, I think I got this. 
I think I'm getting it. The single crochet. Just remember not to yarn over when I start. Just go straight into the train. So, again, this is what I got for the second row. Again, I don't know what's the front or the back. I guess that's my preference. I don't know. But that's what I got. And that's going in the back chain. You're going to see what it looks like doing it different ways for the different rows. But this for this row, I'm going to do it going to the back. So I'll do back, I'll do front, and then I'll do the two. Or I'll probably do the two and then do the front. That way I can keep track of what I did in succession.